Why did I just pop two pieces of gum right before I'm about to record? Good evening, peace. My name is Scripps, and welcome back to another speed paint. Now I know, sorry, sorry. I know that I've been doing these kind of Hollow Knight topic videos, um, even though people keep saying, "Oh, don't say sorry about it. We love Hollow Knight." Then still, like, I want to keep some variety on the channel, and I've just kind of sort of done like two speed paints of Hollow Knight in a row, so. Sorry about that to the people who don't really play Hollow Knight, but then again, just, I don't know, I guess you're welcome to the people who do enjoy Hollow Knight. But I've sort of been going through kind of like an artist block recently. I know I've said that a couple of times, but it's something that you can get quite frequently, just either due to just, you know, a bad day, or a day where you just don't really feel very creative when you wake up, and you just don't really feel like you got the drawing skills that one day. Um, and I guess that's just one of the things, the, the, one of the side effects of not drawing all the time like a lot of artists do. A lot of artists put a lot of time aside to just focus on drawing and improve their drawing. And it's just time that I don't really have with, uh, like along with my upload schedule and stuff. Then it's just not really time that I have. I still try to draw every single day and that is still like one of my goals. But um, I've kind of been having an artist block and I think that might actually even show in this video. That I guess that's why I'm telling you. But what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be doing the same thing that we did in the last episode, which is I'm going to create a new enemy, or in this case, a new character uh, for Silk Song, or a character that could potentially be in Silk Song. So I've been skimming through the Hollow Knight Silk Song trailer for what I believe is about my thousandth time I've done so, because I've done so freaking many videos on Silk Song already, even though the game's not out. But uh, I've been skimming it through again, and I've been looking for inspiration of what exactly I wanted to draw. So you could, might even, I might even put this in the video, or I might cut it out. I don't know. That depends on the time. But I was actually doing a bunch of experimentation with different character designs in the Photoshop document. Usually, when I sit down and draw something, I have a pretty clear idea of what I need to draw. But here, I was actually going through kind of like an idea generating process because I have this list of things that I thought I could draw. Uh, and that I knew was kind of like related to either Team Cherry's wants or like a Hollow, what something that would fit into Hollow Knight Silk Song. And one of the things I really wanted to work on was ants, because it's something that Team Cherry mentioned a lot, and they even mentioned having like an entire level about it in the fire level or something. And they think that they're cool creatures, and then something they wanted to use in one of their like in, in one of their next games, but they didn't use it in Hollow Knight Silk Song. From what I can see, I don't think there's any ants in there. Um, but I was still trying to like figure out if there was a way I could do it. I was actually even experimenting with kind of turning like the ants into like a buff but kind of stout design. Kind of like how they would be like a Tolkien-like dwarves. Um, because they would all be working in this like tight society and all just mining and digging away at the cave tunnel systems. Kind of like how dwarves would do in like a fantasy environment. So that's what I experimented with. But the idea that I ended up with was actually a cricket design. Uh, and the reason, I, I've actually thought about doing a cricket design for a while. I think I even like practiced doing one in one of my previous Hollow Knight OC videos. But the primary reason that I did this was because, like, doing the ants, you can't just do, like, an individual ant design, because ants, they're, like, social animals, they're social insects, they live in, like, these big, kind of, like, hive places, so that would mean that you would have to build an entire faction within Silk Song from the ground up, and I didn't really want to do that, I kind of did that with the last episode, where I, like, thought up uh, the, um, the butterfly faction, uh, where the, the this OC that I was drawing would be kind of like the butterfly queen that was on fire and that I, that was very cool But in this video, I just wanted to do something that would kind of fit in like an individual character that, that would be able to fit into some place And then I thought you know what I, I, I like red and Silk Song apparently seems to be very reddish in hue and it also has this very specifically red place uh, Where it was kind of like it looked like the Grim Troop and while I wouldn't go directly ahead and say that it was the Grim Troop, it might just kind of be like an arena place with that red and very similar color theme. But once again, it's very similar, so it's kind of hard not to get inspired by the Grim Troop by doing this. But I don't know about you, but whenever I think about the Grim Troop, I think about those like traveling circuses. Like those creepy, uncanny traveling circuses uh, that are all about performance, and yeah, yeah, basically all about performance, entertainment, stuff like that. And that's also what the, the Nightmare King... Uh, and Nightmare Grim is about. They even bow to you, like, before you battle them, and then you always fight them in front uh, of some kind of audience. So I thought that, because there were also other characters in the night in the Grim troupe that used instruments, then I wanted to create, uh, like, 
a character that also used an instrument. And I thought, how fitting would it be to have a cricket that plays like a violin or a shamisen or some sort of string instrument with their legs? Because, you know, that's kind of like a thing that the crickets are famous for. They're famous for their kind of like violin stringy like legs. And then there's even like a myth going on that uh, they play music with their legs. That, that's actually, by the way, a myth. Did you know that? Crickets don't actually make any sound with their legs at all. They don't rub them together to make sound or anything. That's a myth. They actually make uh, the sound that they do with their wings. Uh, but apparently that's like a widespread myth and it's it's very deeply embedded into our culture that the cricket is very heavily related to like a string instrument because it sounds like they play a string instrument and then people assume that they do it with their legs because it kind of looks like uh, one of those things you, you use on a violin. So I, I think it's still fine to use that in a character design. But yeah, I thought that was just a, like an interesting way to make a quirky character design. What was kind of an issue though, was actually trying to avoid making this character... Uh, sexual because in case you don't know i've been looking up i have been looking up hollow knight references a lot because i draw hollow knight stuff a lot and let me tell you it's very hard not to stumble on something very lewd like if you don't automatically have safe search on your google then you will very easily find porn just from simply googling hollow knight hornet and I, I don't know what it is with this community and why people are freaking bug fetishists now. Is there even like a, a th like a furry thing but for bugs? I don't know. Maybe maybe we can call them husks or husk lovers or something like that. Uh, 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 you know, let, let me not give birth to that fandom. Uh, but anyway, but I tried to avoid making this character look sexual or sexually out of place in sorts. Because that totally wasn't my intent with the character to begin with. The, the idea of the character was actually that they were supposed to be... Kind of like a, a trio, a part of a trio, along with those two other bosses we saw in Silk Song, like the kind of nacho shaped dude with the, the, the red bush and the, the beard and no eyes, and then the girl with like the dress and the shuriken things in her hand, and she'd be kind of like part of that red trio you fight in the arena. Um, and then like these other two people would be proud, but this one would be more embraceive of like artistic nature, they would appreciate things from like an artistic level. Uh, and appreciate like entertainment and performance in the same way that the Grim Troop did and I thought that would be kind of cool And that's even also why I decided not to give the character any mask or anything because they'd be about the nude performance like the The, ph the philosophically naked and risky about it and there's a there's a bunch of reasons But just the whole artistic thing behind just being natural I guess So the fact that I had to actually lift the bug's leg and make it Oh, it could there was a risk that it might look like they were kind of like humping or Pressing up against the the string thing is that like the string instrument that would upset me <laughs> But I still think I did a pretty good job at not making it look sexual And if you misinterpreted it as kind of like being a sexual pose or something then you are wrong They're just it. It's the only way I could place the string instrument uh, to actually have her play it with her cricket legs uh, because, well, it's not really something you do normally, you don't normally play string instruments with your feet. It's not just a freaking reference you find somewhere. So yeah, it was kind of hard to make that look natural. And to prove that it's not a sexual pose, then I actually stole this pose, or I didn't st steal the pose, you can't really steal a pose. Uh, but I was inspired to make this pose from a video that I was actually watching and listening to while I was drawing, which is kind of like this Mongolian guy who had does some freaking amazing throat singing, and I even wanted to like copy his string, like like his um his string instrument. I wanted to copy his string instrument and put that in a Hollow Knight setting, and I think that's what I what it did. I don't remember what it's called though. What's it called? Okay, I, I just looked it up. It's called a Morin Kur. Uh, I believe I'm pr absolutely pronouncing that wrong, but still I, w I wanted to copy the instrument and I thought it's a very cool video So, you know, I thought why not take some inspiration from it? It's about music after all mind you it is also called silk song So that's why I also thought an instrument would be fitting But if I were to describe how the boss would actually fight then I think it would be cool to have the character use the musical instrument and in some way use the sound as a weapon I don't know, it's it's not something we've seen before, it's not like the type of game where you see someone play and then you have to dodge the notes or something like you have in other games. Uh, but I hope that in some way they'd be able to use the instrument, maybe even do an earthquake, just by freaking rocking so hard with that sick string instrument. 
Uh, but I also thought that she'd be using her legs, actually. We haven't seen a lot of bosses that use their legs, or a lot of enemies that use their legs for attacks, actually. We, I don't think we've seen any bosses that isn't like a, a non-bipedal creature like Nosk use their legs for combat. So I thought that would be cool because it's then because she had cricket legs. And then she would be able to use those as swords in a way. And I don't know if you've ever played League of Legends, but there's a character in League of Legends called Camille who uses her legs in kind of like a similar martial arts way because she has like uh, swords on her legs. Uh, and I thought that would be cool if we had a different take on it and it wasn't just telegraphing swinging attacks, but actually like kicking and jumping and slide attacks and all that different stuff. I thought could be a cool almost ballerina-esque fight. And another way that I could create a, a unique boss for this trio that would still live up to kind of like the finesse that the other two bosses have. But uh, I guess that's pretty much all I got for this video and it's pretty much all that I had to explain about the character. Once again, I'm sorry that I'm kind of like through going through an artist blog and I don't really know what to draw. And I might be kind of taking a long time between speed paints because I don't really know what to draw. I don't have any like... I was about to say throbbing ideas, but that's a horrible word. Like, ideas just in the front of my mind that I really want to draw, because that's how I usually do things. But I still think that this one turned out okay. Maybe it didn't turn out as unique and as fitting to the Silk Song theme. Uh, I thought it was maybe something that would fit a little better into it. You could almost say that I created an extra enemy for the Grim Troop as well. Uh, it was mostly just because we saw this reddish arena Grim Troop-like place exist in Silk Song that I decided, hey, you know what? I, I could, I could, this could be a boss that could be in Silk Song, and uh, I guess, I guess that would be kind of neat. But in the end, then it's your thoughts I actually want to hear. I want to hear your words and what you think about this drawing in the comments, or if there was perhaps, perhaps even ways you could expand on the character in some way, or maybe if you have your own character that you would like for me to illustrate next time around. Also, while you're at it, I'm pr not very good at giving names, or I always forget to give my different character names, so you could even come up with a name for my character. I even forgot that in the last episode, but I'm not gonna forget it for this one, so give this character a name so we actually have something to call her other than Cricket Girl, who kinda slightly rubs up against the string instrument. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you enjoyed this drawing, even though it wasn't exactly my proudest drawing. And, you know, hopefully next time then I won't have to draw something Hollow Knight just because it's something, it, it's so, I don't know, I just enjoy thinking of different character designs for Hollow Knight. But hopefully my artist block will go away and I'll actually be able to conquer some different challenges when it comes to speed paints because I don't want to do, I love Hollow Knight, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to do <laughs> exclusively Hollow Knight speed paints either. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.